Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video um, just showing how I did the wiring for uh, the modification on the EcoSmart scooter to extend the range. Um, I upgraded my throttle so I have that uh, newer control box in there for this uh, electronic throttle. But whether you did that or not, it should, this should still be the same. Okay, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. So, here's your charging port here. And as you can see, it looks like it should have three, but there are only two wires coming off the back of that, a positive and a negative. If you trace that around, I know it looks like a big mess, you'll see that that little wire ends up over here on this big wire. And if you look where it comes through the co connector right here, it goes to that big wire right there. This big wire normally goes straight to the battery. That one right there. So imagine you're looking at your, your setup. You're going to see this big red wire going into the positive on your first battery. That's where that wire used to be. Okay, so I use butt connectors to change everything up so what I did was I got the toggle switch which is basically off in the middle on and I kind of put it on here where if I flick it that way it's for the front batteries and that way is for the back batteries the middle is off it's a two pole single throw uh, switch okay I'll see if I can show you what I got. Okay. So I've never had any problems with this switch. So you you could probably experiment on what on what toggle switch works best for you, but this is never overheated or anything. So, anyways, we have this big wire that normally goes to this positive for one set of batteries, right? Well, I took it off. And as you can see on this side, wait a minute. Oh yeah, that it, that's still right. Okay, for this side, when you flick the switch that way, it's actually sending the power to see that black wire. Right there to the positive here because it kind of moves that conductor over inside to bridge these two connections right here that's why the switch forward means these so it looks weird on the switch i kind of got <laughs> turned around and it, it does happen so when you flick the switch that way it completes the circuit between this hot wire that is coming in from this harness to that black wire which is going to the positive and I don't think I mess with the configuration so when you look at yours your wiring should still be set up like this I'll hold it here for a second ran in series so negative here the positive got a fuse right there and then on this one negative to positive on that one and then you have two uh, connectors left that's where you have your negative right here I know these these colors are probably throwing you off but I think at the time I was running out of wire so I had to use what I had so this is negative for the whole set of batteries right here and it goes back to the harness but like I said all we're looking at is this positive wire and then there's a the positive so this is for the front set and for the back you can see I have this wire running here and the and the negative see how I have both of these negatives this one from the back they're put together so these are put together. So normally, 
you just have this wire, this negative wire coming to this connector. But since I wanted to tap in for this rear set of batteries, I just add one of those uh, crimp type connectors to put my negative on there. So, okay, so these wires come back here and the configuration is still the same. I soldered these on and normally I have a piece of electrical tape here. I really just put that there in case um, I threw a wrench or something back there and it wouldn't, you know, uh, arc. So we have these ran in a series, basically the same as the front. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think if I covered everything. And it charges the same way. So when you're charging, okay, you uh, just hit the switch on whatever one you want. You want to charge the front? Switch it that way. Charge the back. So you have to pay attention to the charger. Once you know your front batteries are charged, then you switch it over and charge the uh, ones in the rear. So yeah, so just to kind of recap what I was saying, when you take the cover off, you're going to see from this connector here, um, which comes off the switch, the on, on, on and off switch, you're going to see this connector here with this big wire that normally goes to the positive on that battery, the positive terminal. You're going to take that off put it in the center for um, of your toggle switch so and then you're gonna have two wires on each side a wire on each side that will when you flip the switch turn the switch on it will complete the circuit so like I said when you flip the switch that way it completes the circuit on that side so that means forward means front when you flick the switch to the back it completes the circuit for the wire back here so and it goes up here so i didn't really do anything too special i just thought about it and um yeah that, and some people ask me like why didn't i run the just all six of the batteries um like run it parallel basically to make a uh, one big battery but these batteries were so old I didn't think the that mixing these old batteries with these new batteries was a good idea plus the chemistry might be different so you know you could run parallel and get more amp hours but I just didn't think it would be good and it would have negative effects on the new battery so that's why I didn't do it that way i rather just isolate these old batteries, use these as my main batteries. When they get low and the scooter starts slowing down, flick the switch, start using the ones in the back. And, you know, I had to think about whether the extra weight of these batteries um, was going to negatively affect the range. And really it doesn't. You know, people's weight uh, fluctuate and stuff. I think since I put these in here, I probably lost 20 pounds so you know there are many factors i'm not an engineer or anything but you just have to think of it that way in the common common sense perspective so yeah that's it if you have any other questions just uh send me a message like i said i didn't want to get into the wiring of the new controller for the throttle you're looking at these big connections as long as you pay attention to where these big connections are coming from the on off switch and the little one coming from the uh, charging port you should get it that one big wire that's the key to all of this right here that one big wire that normally goes to that positive terminal all you're doing is basically splitting it with a switch running it there and that's it so like i said if you have any questions just uh Send me a message in the or leave a comment. All right, take care. Peace.